Well, good morning, folks. Welcome along to the vlog. We're starting. Well, we faded a bit there. Huh? We're starting in the house this morning because I've had to return from work. Uh, we had the delivery driver rock up this morning and exchanged the 330 mil cans that were de delivered incorrectly for the 440s, which is what we need. And whilst I was helping him unload his van, I had a wee accident. Now, I know a lot of you regard me as a fine young slip of a thing. All right. Um, but I bent down to pick up a ratchet strap <laughs> and I completely split the crotch, the gusset of my trousers on the main road. <laughs> oh, did we all laugh? It was amazingly funny. Anyway, here's Reg. Here's Chance. Can't take them with me today because we're on the street doing tiling on the front of the pub. So let's go and have a look at how we're getting on with that project. See you later, Reg, you little pee-pee-poo. Oh, mister. See you later, mate. Look at him with his little toy in his mouth. How cute do you look? Like 1,000. So, uh, next day, a little bit windy. We tried as hard as we could yesterday to get as much done as possible. And as you can see, it looks very classy now. Uh, I'm not going to do too much talking here, though, because of the wind. So I'll go and have a few more close-up shots. But I think it looks way better than it did. I mean, way better. So, yeah, I think once the frames are painted and there's new signs up, it's going to look the bomb. Morning, chaps. It's after the weekend. We're back in this morning on a Monday. <clears throat> Excuse me, and we've got quite a few jobs to do. So the canning machine's out, the filler. <clears throat> Excuse me, should have really cleared my throat before I fired the camera up. Let me flick the camera around and we'll talk about what we're gonna do today. So we have the can filler out and the seamer. And we're gonna start a little bit late, I know, because we are like on the 24th, I think, or the 25th of September. We're gonna start filling these cans here with the porter, the plum porter, and the coconut IPA or coconut pale ale. So half of this I think is gonna go into can. I might do more, I don't have enough labels for any more. 650 cans I think. And then we've gotta start casking some of this other beer here as well. <clears throat> but, But, of course, you'll see all these tools down here from where we started to do the tiling at the front of the pub the other week. And the conditions were not great on Friday. In fact, they were such that we did things a little bit in haste. And uh, I don't know if you spotted it on the previous clip, but there was definitely a little bit of a bump in the tiling. And I've not been happy with it. So uh, I'll go and show you what that is now. So this is probably the best angle to grab it at. So if you kind of look down, down the tiles, you should be able to see that just about here, they go uphill a little bit and they're not straight. And of course, just something as little as that, there you go, you can see if you follow the lines. Something as little as that has kept me up all night over the weekend, so. I've decided to do instead is kind of just grab these few from where it starts which is around here ping them off the wall which they will come off with a chisel in one piece as well so I'm not wasting the tile and then we'll do this section again it's kind of across here where I went freehand which caused all of it to kind of uh, be a little bit wavy and then I followed on this piece of timber here kind of the wrong angle uh, which has upset me really, but you know, I'd rather take them off and do the job right again than leave them as they are dickered. So because of the way we've set ourselves up this week for packaging this beer, the tiles are going to have to wait until later on in the week. In fact, I might even have to package this lot and then brew some more beer and then work on the tiles. So. It's one of those jobs that I'm really kicking myself for not spending that. It would have been 15 minutes extra time to make sure things were level 
I wouldn't have had to do this. But you guys know what I'm like. I just simply can't walk away from that and say, ah, it'll do. Now, if you're walking past the place, you can't really tell. But when you get down on a level, and of course, you're walking up a hill from, uh, you know, as you approach the brew shed. So when you're down on a level, your head's on a level with those tiles, you can see that little waviness. Whereas if you're above it, you can't tell. But I know it's there. So it's one of those things that I'm going to have to solve. So we're halfway through uh, canning the porter. So we've switched now from the straight up porter to the plum porter. Of course, this one's got the essence in there. I don't know if we can have a little peek. I think it's probably far too dimly lit inside for you to see anything. Yeah, just as I thought. But the smell, now that we're just uh, putting the essence in there, what we're doing is the priming sugar, we heat up in the microwave to kill any nasties in there. It's obviously got some water in it. And then I'll weigh out the plum essence into it and we'll add that into the priming sugar and that can go into the beer. So we're aiming for about 1.6 to 1.8 volumes of CO2 for the porter. We don't want it to be really fizzy, but it is handy to have just a little bit of carbonation so it delivers a nice head when you pour it into the glass. So this is the aftermath. After we've cleaned down, this has got sanitizer in it, so we'll just push the sanitizer through the canning machine. These are all just cans that never got filled. They'll just be sat here till tomorrow. So, hosed everything down. Probably a bit of sunlight coming through the window there. And we're just gonna wait now till tomorrow, because it's uh, half past four. We're not gonna start another, uh, another beer at this time of night. So, airlines unplugged. CO2's turned off. These can stay on, really, but I'll just pop this test button on the... Uh, RCD, so it's not drawing any quiescent current. And then tomorrow we're going to be going in to do the coconut. So this uh, this has been sat at well, it's at 5.7, but it's been crashed to four degrees. Been sat a few days. The cans are in the cold room, and then Gemma's just getting some Amarillo, Simcoe, and whatever else to dry up this proof of concept. And then we're going to bag her off home, I believe. So I think that'll wrap it up for today's episode, which also has a little bit of Thursdays and a little bit of Fridays on there as well. But at least we're keeping you up to date. We'll see you on the next one, folks. Cheers.